don't think I ever really um, was not interested in recycling. I think it was kind of inbred just in my particular family. My grandparents and my parents went through the depression and they saved everything because you could reuse it. I take that into my own personal life where uh, I don't just necessarily go to a, a garden shop at a store. I'll take plants that I already have and I'll split them up and I'll create new ones that way. When I first started uh, as operations manager, you know, I obviously knew, you know, you have a garbage container, you have a recycling container. Was the recycling container used all the time? From what I could see, it didn't look that way. We together created um, a recycling committee at our school district, which I headed. I have a lot of respect for the people that, that work for the school district in the custodial department. Um, I try to give them the, their own responsibility at the school site in order to be the person that is taking custody of the school, which is where you're getting the word custodians. You know, I, I didn't really think about it before about, you know, well, we just have to get the kids trained so they can sort things appropriately and then it goes in the right container. But that's not where it ends. And that's, that's kind of where I was focused for a very long time. It goes where the, you know, the kids then go back to their home and they may teach their parents that were never taught or brothers and sisters that might be younger that were never taught. And so now that becomes a norm in their house. So that's just one little house, but that can kind of grow. Um, and the same thing happens with the employees and, and their family. So it kind of can branch off and create a much bigger thing than you ever intended it to be.